So courtesy of Onlyx and 90 on Mobiles, we have our first look at the renders of the Google's next Meta smartphone, the Pixel 6a. Now, it was just a month ago that Google launched the much hyped flagships, the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro. Now, in the early next year, we can expect Google to launch its next budget Pixel, which will replace the current Pixel 5a. Now, if you look at the renders, it's pretty much clear that the handset resembles the standard Pixel 6 model a lot literally clone so i don't need to say you how beautiful the design is this whole square is kind of designed this this very little bezels all around even though it has a slight bit of chin but it's fine i guess and also the square's camera bump of the current pixel 5 has been replaced by the camera bar now it's a part of the pixel design language which also houses a dual camera setup this time now currently the camera specs are not known but maybe to 12 megapixel cameras that's pretty much kind of expected now, one of the things that is visible is these two color options in two-tone finishes, which is also a Pixel trademark. Now, if the Pixel 6 will feature this design and the good price tag, I can definitely say that it will win people's heart like crazy, even more so than the other Pixel A series devices. And I think this model should arrive in more countries globally. Now, the Pixel 6a will apparently feature a 6.2-inch flat OLED panel with a centered punch hole, just like the Big Brothers, and the same goes for the fingerprint scanner. It will also be an under-display fingerprint scanner. The phone has a dimension of 152.2mm tall, 71.8mm wide, and 8.7mm thick, and including the camera bump, it will be more than 10mm thick. Now, meaning it will be more compact than even the Pixel 6, and I think it's the best size for most of the people. Now, the last thing is, it will ditch the 3.5mm jack, yeah. So you will need to buy USB-C or Bluetooth headphones now. The processor is still a secret though. Maybe the Tensor chipset will also power this device or maybe a watered down variant of the Tensor chipset. Maybe one Cortex X1 core will be disabled or things like that. Or maybe the clock speed will go down. But anyway, it might also be possible that Google will use Snapdragon processor with the A series devices. So yeah, we will have to wait for that. But anyway, this is an interesting device and I'm really excited. Are you? Let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, check out my website on your computer, tablet or your phone. Jointheavit.com, link down below. It's for everything tech. You're gonna get all these and more tech news way faster than these videos. These videos take a lot more time and effort to create. So subscribe to this channel and like this video as I appreciate that. And definitely visit my website.